This, however, might be a bit of a problem. <laughs> like, I'm really happy that they run on windows and yet can't understand how to see through them, but I, I don't really want to pick a fight right now. I know I said I would rather fight death robots than get motion sick, but guess what? That was before I knew I would have to fight two of them using disposable darts and knives. I'm sure we could just skip that cart, move on to the next one. We'll have a whole lot better luck. Nope. What's up guys, welcome to Budget Cuts 2. So many of you guys might remember that I played through the first Budget Cuts on the channel, and it was one of the most unique VR games I had ever seen. And then because of that, it quickly became one of those highly requested games for me to return to. So now that we have an actual sequel, I can finally find out what happens next. Now, we left off on a pretty big cliffhanger. I'm pretty sure we were being chased by murder bots on a train? And... I would assume that we're going from Transcorp offices to Transcorp Central, but it's telling me that the train is delayed due to reason. It didn't look very delayed. <laughs> Maybe the reason is a lack of brakes, but that would put them ahead of schedule. The reason's probably murder bots, let's be perfectly honest. Robots of the working force, listen closely. This is your motherboard speaking. This train is heading toward Transcorp Central with unwanted cargo. A rogue human troublemaker is hiding on board to preserve a nice and efficient atmosphere in the workplace. Supervisors have been approved to use extreme optimization. I don't know if I like the sound of that. If optimization proves unsuccessful, further measures have been pre-approved and will require no active participation on your behalf. Now is a good time to let your shift leader know you might be very very late to work today. You are expected to make up for lost time tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, so we've got a couple of problems other than the fact that we're stuck on a train full of murder bots who know where we are and they have contingency plans. <laughs> they also took my portal gun and all my knives. So I can't move and I can't defend myself. I can pick stuff up. I guess I could always hit them with a mug. Oh, right. Okay, so we do still have our portal gun. Oh, this is just the coolest part of the game. I still love this. Oh, it feels weird, though. Well, if that's the case, then I should... Nope. Don't have any knives. I regret breaking my defense mug. Something tells me we are not getting through that door without you in my ear, but I still don't trust you, okay? There's still something fishy about you and your motives and your... Hi there, this is Winter Disappearing speaking. headset. I thought I had lost you there for a while, but you seem to be all right. I've managed to hack into the Transcorp systems, so I should be able to follow what you do all the time. Isn't that great? No. I'm in no hurry to return to the Transcorp offices. I hope you're not either. This train stops close to the Transcorp cost optimizer mainframe. We need to shut it down for good. I think I know how, and it shouldn't be too hard, promise. You're all okay with that then? No! Good, because my plan kind of relies on you doing a lot of the work. Okay, I'm unlocking the door for you now. Good luck! So same as always in all reality, when have I not been the one to do all the work? Oh, oh no! That's some motion sickness right there. No, no, uh, no. Give me, give me murder bots. Give me murder bots over this, please. Murder bots first, then I'll see what my hands are telling me. Mission objective updated. Oh! Okay, we've got a mission. Get to the front of the train. Well, duh. I guess I need to crouch to accomplish that. Uh, I don't really feel like crouching. My knees aren't up for that. How about we just do a, a classic dick shot? There we go. Ooh, stash useful items. Yes, please, I could definitely use a few of you. You guys hear something? I could have swore I just heard a voice. Was that you? Lady in my head? Nope, that was definitely not lady in my head. Are there robots in these boxes? Oh, Jesus Christ, hi! Oh, it's a potato bot! You spooked me, bud! I, I thought you were a murder bot. Why do they have you in some kind of transportation closet? 
Listen, little guy, I've only got two knives, and that's probably not enough for a train full of murder bots, so I'm not going to bury one in your head yet, okay? You, you just hang out, and maybe I'll come back. Maybe I'll throw up. We'll see. <laughs> I'm just going to do this part with my eyes closed. I'm sure we'll be able to get through this no problem. Does that say press for news? Okay, do we have any more? Yeah, there's more robo friends. Ah, imagine being stuck in here when the train blows up. Uh, excuse me? When the train what? That must be the contingency plan they spoke about earlier. Right? If the robots can't manage to catch or kill me, then they're still going to get rid of me, but no further input will be required on their end, and they're going to be very late for work. <laughs> do you not- I, I was working now. I love to work. Work, I know work, you work. love to work. Why are you not upset that you're not going to make it to work? Because the train is going to go off the tracks with you in it. God, these stupid potato bots. I forgot how frustrating they were. Give me the news. Is this... Maybe I need to tune into the right kind of news? What the... Well, hello there, dear viewers, and welcome to the Transcore Daily News. <laughs> Supervisors are continuing investigations into the disturbances at the Transcorp offices yesterday. There are reports of a stolen prototype transportation device. And apparently a stamp with the imprint declined is also missing. Several coffee cups have been smashed to pieces, and most of the cookies seem to have been devoured by an unknown offender. To me, this feels like an attack on our way of living. In other news, officials at the Transcorp paperclip factory have succeeded in constructing a 25-pound paperclip thereby inching closer to that elusive target of one million pounds of paper clips per year. We wish them good luck in their endeavors. Yeah, most of that was my fault. I definitely ate the cookies and uh, stole the gun, maybe a couple other things, but... <laughs> as long as they don't name names, we should be fine. Winter, do you, do you have anything to, to say about that, Winter? Your name is Winter, right? Um, we have a rather pressing issue to take care of before we take down the cost optimizer. And the that death is bots? That you're about to die. Yeah. It seems they know we're coming, so they've planted a bomb on the train. You should probably defuse it. You know how to do that, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I know how to do that. I can do that with my Scooby-Doo Happy Meal magnifying glass, or... Maybe my fingerless hand or my portal gun. Yeah, we're, we're gonna blow up. I'm just letting you guys know right now We are super screwed. Hopefully they don't have many guards I'm Only seeing one just Gotta keep it nice and stealthy. You can use knives to kill robots. Yeah, no shit Sherlock. Thank you Ooh, Package full of knives. I uh, don't mind if I do guys in here and uh excuse me oh, 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 uh, uh, hold on hold on sit 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 down shush 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 go to sleep go to sleep <laughs> oh this thing doubles as a flashlight hey whoa 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 doubles as a flashlight and i can pick stuff up from a distance good to know can i have that back just just want the just want the knife just give me i don't want to dance i want the knife that is not good. It broke off in her neck. So they're one-time use knives now. It's a bottle opener all of a sudden. And let me guess, if I try to take you, ah, it's gonna shock me great. Okay, so we can defend ourselves three more times. Do we wanna go up above or down below? If I go up above, I'm gonna vomit, so. I would much rather Fight my way through robots. What have we got? Uh, mission. Get to the front of the train. Yeah, I, I, I know. That hasn't changed. Shut up, hands. <laughs> this seems rather peaceful. I mean, other than the fact that there's a bomb coming. Yes, I, I know. Oh, jump onto the other train. What? What? What other train? Oh, you didn't say anything about a, another train. Okay. Yeah. You can go explode now. We're good. Oh. Okay. Good to know. I'm really happy I didn't go above. 
That mission objective is done. Huh? Mm, nope, nope, had enough. I wanted to watch the other train explode, but I'm guessing that already happened. <laughs> All right, so now they don't know that I'm here. Great, different train, new lease on life. Winter, you got anything to say about that? No, didn't think so. Useless as tits on a bull, I swear to God. What do we have here? You can use mugs and similar objects to knock robots out. Wait, what? I can use a defense mug? Listen, I was being sarcastic, but I'll take all the defense mugs I can get. <laughs> I mean, they're clearly gonna hear me coming. I'm gonna be running around this place jingling with a pocket full of mugs. It's probably not the greatest idea. You see, clearly heard me coming. Maybe saw me, and it might have been the yelling, but it was probably the mugs. I don't suppose stabbing you in the eye means I can get this back? Nope. Don't make knives like they used to. Then again, I probably shouldn't complain. It, a complimentary knife just wasted a million dollar guard robot. <laughs> and once again, we have the choice of going up or going under. I don't want to go up. I feel like there's going to be more guards up. I mean, this looks safe-ish. Safe fish is good enough for me. Somebody pooping in there? There's definitely something going on in here. Okay, well, we're gonna get a knife. It might be robots banging, and if it's robots banging, then I wanna see! No robot banging. That's upsetting. I know they can do it! I, I just wanted to see them do it. Uh... I don't want to know how this works. It's really hard to tell where these voices are coming from. Like, they're so incredibly quiet, you guys might not even be able to hear them. They could be in storage. They could be above me. Like, I, I don't think there's anybody in room four. This is all clear. Okay, well, just go room to room. Darts! Those are quite a bit more lethal than mugs. Don't mind if I do. I don't know how much stuff I can carry at once. Hopefully, nope, that's the limit. All right, sorry, defense mugs. Okay, we'll just be a little bit more quiet. There we go. Unfortunately, I have to inform you guys that room number two had a bit of an accident. He probably slipped and fell on that dart. I'm sure somebody didn't throw it at him in surprise when they panicked. So, we're just gonna leave that be and not claim any responsibility. Room number one has no murder bots. That for sure there would be murder bots. Why is this so peaceful? There's more luggage than murder bots. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just really weird. What if I do something like this just to see what's going on up here? Really? Nothing. No murder bots above. All right. Well, we're having a pretty good time down here. I might as well keep going and have a drink. Hey. A caffeine rinse. Caffeine rinse with lemon? That sounds lovely. All you have here is oil, though. Grease? Uh, you have any caffeine? Caffeinated oil will do. I mean, coffee's not that far off. Welcome back, dear viewers. This is the Transcorp Daily News. Supervisors are reporting that the investigation into the incident yesterday at Transcorp offices is getting closer to a resolution. May I interest you in a Efficient research into the matter has revealed that the persons behind the destruction are a research scientist named Winter Sagai. Will you please shut up? I'm trying to watch the news. If you know the current whereabouts of the last offender, please get in touch with your nearest supervisor. Come on, my head Did isn't you know that, that round. Regularly massaging your limbs with Transcorp Deluxe Oil keeps you productive and efficient. Treat yourself daily. Be productive. Work better. Work more. What kind of news program has sponsorships? Oh, I'm sorry. Did that dart hurt? Well, maybe you shouldn't be interrupting my time watching the boob tube. <laughs> oh, I actually feel kind of bad. It's all going. <laughs> you just lie down. You, you'll feel better in a minute. Oh my god, he really just does not want to give up. Just, just there you go. Just die. <laughs> Never even made me my drink. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. 
There we go. Yeah, we're, we're doing fine. We could defend ourselves from innocent bystanders, technically. This, however, might be a bit of a problem. <gasps> like, I'm really happy that they run on windows and yet can't understand how to see through them. But I, I don't really want to pick a fight right now. I know I said I would rather fight death robots than get motion sick, but guess what? That was before I knew I would have to fight two of them using disposable darts and knives. I'm sure we could just skip that cart, move on to the next one. We'll have a whole lot better luck. Nope. Not even a little bit. Wait, what's my mission right now? Like, I figured the bomb was on the last train. So we're just trying to get to the front of this one for reasons? I can't change his destination, we're on tracks. I'm gonna probably end up regretting this, but I can't be a huge wuss puss the whole episode, right? So I'm just gonna have that, that and then, there we go. You catch the scissors and forget that I exist. Oh, okay. So it's not just windows that confuse them, but Doors? They don't have great object permanence. They're like toddlers with guns. <laughs> oh my god, it's like somebody snuck up on a friggin' octopus. <laughs> now, how are we gonna deal with you? Maybe I can convince you to come over here? That would help a whole lot. I, I can't... I can't open a door and hold a knife and teleport at the same time, so... <laughs> I'm kind of limited in my abilities to fight you. Please... Please just... Okay, just just go back to whatever you were doing. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Ah! Here we go. Ah! No! 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 You! 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 Stay closed. Yeah! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. While I do love the fact that there is no bomb on this train, you really need to find a way back. If we stay here, we'll end up who knows where. Definitely not close to the cost optimizer. Jump back to the first train. Why would I jump back to the bomb train? I just cleared this one. <laughs> Great. You're not getting through here easily. Maybe there's something on the train that can help you. You kidding me right now? You can't just give me the code? Search this train for the code. Wonderful. Well, we already know what's waiting for us back here. Hello. Hello. Take it to the station. Oh, would you buy one from me? Um, I'll buy one from you. I don't have any money, so... <laughs> Sorry about that, you didn't leave me any other choice. I have to be missing something. Like, I've checked every other cabin in this train and found nothing except for a death bot that obviously didn't have much to say. <laughs> They're not exactly the talkative type. This guy, but I kind of... Killed him prematurely. Uh, excuse me? You'll never know I put that note there. Put that note where? Put what note where? What do you know, Potato I'm Bot? Nice I swear to God. <laughs> Unless you want to dart in the chin <laughs> like the last guy, you is. will stop laughing maniacally and tell me, where did you put the coat? I think he's sleeping. No, he's dead. Just like you'll be if you don't tell me where the code is. Listen, I don't know if your kind feel pain, but I know for a fact that they suffer as they die. That's from experience, so tell me where you put the I note. I put a note on his back. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I needed from you. You put it on his back? I really hope you meant his back. Maybe I should have asked a little more. It's probably fine. Three, seven, four, five. Thank you very much. That is all I needed from you. Now I can make my way to the front of the train and do whatever it is Winter wants of me. In all reality, I still don't know why I'm doing anything that I'm doing. I do know for a fact that we're going over. Yeah, definitely don't want to be opening that door too quickly. We need to move with less speed, but more haste. Or more haste, less speed. I can't remember the saying. All that matters is that we punch in three, seven, four, five. Three, seven, four, five. Oh, right. This is the one with the bomb. I forgot that we moved back to the bomb because the bomb we're stupid. Be 
They didn't count on us getting here at all, so there should be plenty of time remaining on the countdown. Take a few deep breaths and take your time diffusing it. You've got this. <sighs> okay. Yeah, we got ages, right? Loads of time. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, we got some tools over here. Case of emergency break glass. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll do that right now. Um... Can I... Can I maybe... Can I have it? Can I have it? Can I... Maybe we don't need to break the glass all that badly, right? It, it, it's, it's probably not all too important. Oh, there it is. Okay. Wonderful. Screw you. It's a good thing they gave me, like, 15 minutes to defuse this thing, because I do not understand how to use a screwdriver without thumbs. I think I got the motion figured out, but it is uh -oh. That's bad. not going my that. way. Oh! Of course! Yeah, that, that would explain the, uh, whole breaking the window thing. Hi! Jesus, that was, uh, a little excessive. Call that a success? <gasps> Budget cut to mission insolvency. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I didn't know this had a title. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Budget Cuts 2, guys. And this is everything I had hoped for. Honestly, I, I didn't want to play more of the first Budget Cuts because doing the same thing over and over again, it's just not fun. But now that we see something new and we get to learn more about the story and what's going on here and just uncover the mystery, it has me really excited. So as always, if you guys want to see this game become a series, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave your support, especially on the first episode, and I'll be sure to return for more soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.